make their way out onto the field of play just away to our left hand side if you missed any of the team news in the build up to the game Crawley have made four changes this afternoon they bring in Rolls, McKenna, Williams and Sarula into the starting 11 and the players that drop out this afternoon are Kelly, Gordon, Maguire and Adeyemo so Corey Adai plays in goal and the 10 outfield players for Crawley Dion Conroy, Harry Ransom, Danilo Orsi, Ronan Darcy, Jack Rolls, Joy McKenna, Jay Williams, Nick Saruna, Adam Campbell and Will Wright. The substitutes for Crawley this afternoon are Luca Ashby-Hammond, Kellen Gordon, Harry Forster, Cam Sawyer, Aaron Henry, Clyde Lolos and Adi Adeyemo. As for Swindon, well they start with an unchanged 11 from the side that won 2-1 against Forest Green Rovers on Friday. They start the afternoon 12th in the League 2 table. They have got Ward in goal, a back three of Godwin, Malef, Bruitt and Minturn. A midfield four of Hutton, Kinsella, Khan and Shade. And then Kemp plays just behind Austin and Young as the two strikers for the visitors this afternoon. On the bench for the visitors, Redmond Evans, George McEachran, Jake Kane, Williams Kokolo, Anthony Ovozak, Sonny Hart and Miles Abodo. The players are gathered around the centre circle because I think we're going to have a minute's appreciation for Crawley Town fans who passed away during the year of 2023. And once we've done that, Ben and I will be back with you for full match commentary on this Skybet League 2 fixture. 
If you're able to, we invite you to stand and join us in a minute's applause to celebrate the lives of those who are no longer with us, which will begin on the referee's whistle. Not even, well, just about getting to the halfway or just over the halfway point of the season now, and we're matching the wins that we got for the whole of last season. I think that really just it says a lot about the progression of the squad and a you know a real a real sign of trust the process really. Here's Rolls tries to play it into the box, wouldn't do enough to get it away. Breaks for Williams on the edge of the centre circle, sweeps it out to that right hand side for Jack Rolls. Doesn't get too many opportunities to show what he can do as a starter in the league. Great ball round the corner. Darcy's got into the gap. Can he squeeze it across? Yes, he can. And Orsi touches it home from close range. Nine minutes on the clock. And it is a brilliant goal by Crawley Town. Tremendous run by Darcy over on the far side. He was found on the overlap. Got it square across the six-yard area. And Orsi could not miss. And the new year is off and running for Crawley Town. It won't avenge that 6-0 drubbing in August at the county ground, but it gives Crawley the lead here. It's a 12th goal of the season for the Crawley Town number nine, and he could not miss. And with nine and a half minutes on the clock, it is Crawley Town one, Swindon Town nil. Jack Rolls has done absolutely brilliant there, though. Let's, let's praise him and the fantastic ball from Ronan Darcy. logistic stand gives it to Campbell back to right plays it onto the far side now Darcy has a chance to clip it into the box and it's won by it looks like Conroy wins it again just scrambling into the box and Rolls gets it oh well, what a strike Jack Rolls takes it down brilliantly and has has a pop and why not because he's got a fantastic result there what a way to mark your first start in the league for Crawley Town but with a fantastic effort of goals such as that and he doubles Crawley's lead here against Swindon well it's a tremendous strike Ben to be honest he, he comes out of the sky he, he takes it brilliantly one touch no hesitation in pulling the trigger on the volley away to the keeper's right hand side and it's been an absolute dream 26 and a half minutes for Crawley the big moment for them you know they, they'd have really had their tails up going into half time if they'd managed to halve the deficit before the break but... and there we go the referee Paul Howard has blown the whistle for half time Danilo Orsi putting the the home side in front fantastic bit of play from Rolls putting a perfectly weighted ball down to the former Swindon Town player Ronan Darcy who drills it in uh, to Daniel Orsi who has a very simple finish from roughly a yard out to put to the uh, to put Crawley Town in front and then just after 26 minutes of play Jack Rolls fantastic touch with his knee and then a volley just into the bottom left corner just outside the box uh, from a corner to give Crawley that 2-0 cushion so Here's a free kick from Wright, booms it into the penalty area, evades everybody, but it's kept in play by Conroy on that far side. He's got support from Sarula, gets it to him now, just on the left-hand side of the box, Shade comes across. Sarula tries to get the cross into the box, it bounces off of Hutton, bounces back to Sarula, who goes back to Conroy on that far side. Square it comes to Will Wright, shoots an opportunity for the defender, takes a deflection, breaks for Orsi, that is goal number three, and that is surely three points for Crawley Town. Wright had the effort, it deflected into the path of Orsi and the striker made absolutely no mistake going round the goalkeeper ward and rolling it into the back of the net. Orsi has two, Crawley have three and they surely have three points to kickstart the new year. We have played 53 minutes, it is Crawley Town three, Swindon Town nil and surely the points are wrapped up.
Crawley really are picking up where they left off from that first half. Started really brightly, and they've got exactly what they deserve, and that is a third goal. over the 95th minute now Paul Howard will surely soon be calling calling it there but it does seem just a bit too late for Swindon and there is the confirmation from the referee Crawley Town have done it after a couple of games without a win at home this place we, we've said has been a fortress at times especially in last year crucially at last year as well and they have now rectified any doubts of their home form now with a fantastic victory here against Swindon, a side who absolutely demolished them at the start of the season. So this for Crawley and Scott and some of the former Swindon boys, this is going to be absolutely brilliant for them. Yeah, they, they will have enjoyed that one, Ben, and it was a, a great performance. You know, like we said at half-time, Swindon started brightly, peppered the Crawley goal with a couple of crosses and things into the box, but once Crawley got their noses in front after nine minutes, I don't really think there was any looking back. The second goal from Rolls obviously gave them a little bit of breathing space. Third goal early on in the second half was uh, the real sort of icing on the cake. I guess the only downside will be conceding inside stoppage time to not keep that clean sheet. But the three points are what counts at the end of the day. Scott and the team will be delighted.